Good morning and welcome back to my channel. Um, if this is the first time you've actually found me, um, I've been doing a weekly vlog so far. So it's Wednesday morning now, 24th of January. Um, today I've already done my eBay wake up. Um, so it's now just coming up for 9 a.m. in the morning. So all completed that already. So I'm going to now move on to my next job. So I indicated this from yesterday that I actually purchased a wholesale bundle of clothing. So these are just so you're aware, like B and C grade. So I'm not expecting them to be like amazing. I'm expecting them to like actually have like quite a few defects. Um, the reason I've kind of like done this is, um, uh, as I've kind of indicated yesterday, that um, I actually watched one of George Ross's uh, videos the other day about kind of the, his ultimate thrifting guide. Um, like kind of really interesting, and uh, I'm really enjoying it. So thank you, George. Um, but uh, so I thought I'd actually like take the opportunity to, because I am a bit low on stock at the moment. So I thought I'd actually like give it a go as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually you know physically open up the bag and um, so I've not actually opened it at all. I was gonna, I was thinking about kind of doing it last night, getting it all washed, but um, I thought I'd actually just do it like a completely blind opening. I'm not going to go into like kind of where I got this for um, from because like they're all fundamentally the same. So um, I just like got a generic one, paid just over a hundred pound with shipping. So I'm going to open it up, have a look, see what I think of it, um, and um, we we'll, we'll go from there. So this is the bag that I'm going to be opening. Um, it's completely sealed. I've not actually physically opened it as of yet. So as you can see, it's still thing. I've got my kind of my trusty knife, so I will kind of like open it up. Um, if I do that now, actually. Right, being careful to do it in a safe manner. These always like bits of the material always goes everywhere, unfortunately, with this. Right, what I'm going to do now, I'm actually going to like put it just on the ground so I can actually like put it up onto here. Right, here we go. So the top one, so first of all, is actually a, a jacket, a puffer jacket. All right, very, very stained, but um, hopefully this should, I think. So first and foremost, we've got a Michael Kors puffer jacket. Now, I'm not sure if it's actually a down, let's have a look. Uh, polyester, no, so it's a polyester. Um, it is heavily discolored it's got a lot of stains on it um looks more kind of like makeup stains on this one so quite a lot of foundation on it hood is all complete doesn't look like there's any holes or rips on it just like kind of looks very dirty so that gonna get cleaned next one is a pair of joggers Right, so a pair of Nike joggers, very small. So these are actually extra small Nike joggers. Let's see if it's got the tags. Yeah, it's got all the genuine tags. So fine, and condition-wise, clean. Yeah, looks fine, just very small. And right, next we've got a pair of jeans. All right, so these are a pair of Lee jeans. Yeah, uh, oh, look all right. Don't look in too bad condition, apart from they're very dirty. So it needs a blooming good clean. Hems all look okay. And reasonable size as well these ones they're fairly big so yeah okay not too bad no right, next another pair of joggers another pair of nike these are slightly more vintage these ones so it's got the silver tag on it nike bigger star size uh size xl also condition like 
couple of stains on the leg and down the back. Yeah, fairly faded, but being C grade, that's fine. I know we've got a, a gilet come body warmer. Right, so it's Berg House, so reasonably like a good brand, but it is. Oh. Right, so it's got kind of a company logo on there as well. So it's got an eagle on there as well. So eagle, the early bird. Um, but it's a nice size though, actually. Zips all seem to be fine. Tags all in place. Yeah, that's all right. That's fine. Size XL as well. All right, next we've got a hoodie, which is a Nike hoodie. It's got some nasty stains on this one. But Nike full zip hoodie. Let's see, just on there. Now, I'm not sure they come out. I may be wrong, but tags all correct. Yeah, tags are all okay. Uh, Nike athletic department, size medium. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, then we got another hoodie. Another Nike hoodie, this one. Fairly heavily stained again. Uh, size XL. Your tags are all correct. Yeah, tags look all right. So that's big hoodie, like so. On the back it says freestylers. If that kind of comes out, that should be like quite nice. But yeah, it's got some quite a few stains on it. All right, we've got another pair of joggers. Size XL, kind of grey joggers, these ones. And we've got cargo pockets on the side as well. Uh, uh, XL, we've got the tags. Yeah, it takes all of there. Quick look at in the light. Yeah, a few stains. The back. Very few holes, so like the actual kind of like condition has actually been okay, so it's not horrendous. Um, definitely needs like the, all this will go through the wash. All right, another pair of joggers, these are a pair of like Adidas track bottoms. Uh, another UK, UK medium in black, got pockets. Condition, yeah, not too bad. Kind of straight leg on these ones as well. All right, then we got Andy Das kind of quarter zip polo shirt, size large, It's got a zip on the back. Let's check, make sure that all works. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, yeah, it's got some marks on it again. A little bit of fading on the front there. All right, then we've got a hoodie. This is Levi's. Sure, zips working. No. So on this one, so we've got the zip is completely like kind of knackered. So unfortunately, that's going to be a a no go. So I'll put that into the donate pile. It's not even worth putting that through. Right, I've got a pair of Nike shorts. Very heavy on Nike, this bag. Right, so a pair of Nike shorts. 
and they are mm, this gives me vibes of there uh, they're not real actually that oh let's see if i can get a slightly better view on like what to look for so pure and simply that's the tag you can see like a, a, a real telltale sign is actually to do with like another size um, if it looks like a very generic one it's more than likely so that that's gone all right then we got a kind of a hoodie come varsity jacket this is tommy hill figure so it's small, oh, well, it actually says it's a large, but it's kind of like either a kid's large or a woman's, essentially a woman's large. Looks fairly small though. General condition, looks okay. Can't see any stains, no rips. So yeah, that back on there. All right, another hoodie by Nike. Purple one, this one. So Nike, small sportswear. Tags all good. So that, that's that. Pretty to be good condition. Got some marks on the arms, but hopefully that will come up in the wash. We've got some Adidas track bottoms. Uh, 2013, size large. Look, zips all look all right. Yeah. Fine. All right, another pair of joggers. Crikey, a lot of joggers today. All right, okay. These a pair of Adidas. Tag looks okay. 2014. Let's see if I've actually got a size one on it. All right, looks like the size one's coming out, but. Puff nose. Looks all right. Got the drawstrings all in there. <clears throat> right, polo shirt. Fred Perry polo shirt. Size medium. Looks like it's pretty much been shrunk, this one. Would I say it's a medium? Mm, potentially. I'll put it through the wash and actually see what it looks like. All right, there we got a shirt. NB Fashion. It doesn't give me any, any vibes of quality whatsoever. Loads of stains on it. Uh, I think that's going to be rejected. I'm not going to bother with uh, using that one. All right, I've got a jacket. So this is an Adidas jacket. All right. Heavily stained on this one. 2022. It's only a year old, this. Size it? Um, size medium. All right, so it's got a pretty cool kind of like spell out you can see that adidas just on there um but it is heavily like kind of uh, stained and all on the back as well but i'll put it through the wash have a look check to the zip yeah it's fine Right, and we've got a jacket, so it's a Tommy Hilfiger denim jacket. Tags look good. Make 
sure we'll see. It's all good. It's kind of a Harrington bomber jacket, this one. It's got a lot of paint mark on the back. Not sure if that can come up from there. But apart from that, it looks all right. Uh, size small, not particularly big, but. We're getting down at the bottom now. Right, another hoodie. That's right, so a North Face hoodie. I'm always kind of like super cautious with these ones, making sure they are genuine because these are normally heavily faked. But let's have a look. See what the tags are like. Surprisingly, tags are good. Yeah, it's got all the uh, logos on there as well. Right, so, what is the condition like? Looks all right. So it's small, big spell out on the front. These are good clean. But yeah, not too bad. All right, pair of shorts. Again, Tommy Hilfiger jeans. Yeah, nothing special, but. Size 34, and we've got a fleece top. So this is low alpine. This is very like kind of heavily stained on the front and on the arms. But give it a good soak. Maybe, maybe it'd be like a lot worth selling. Zip's all okay. Size is it? Um, can see this size nine. Not sure. Right, so that right another pair of jeans. All right, so these are a pair of Levi's. Uh, they are the Levi five hundred ones. So the tag like so not vintage 34 inch waist 34 inch leg right uh, make sure the hems hems are absolutely battered it's a bit of a shame got a hole in the leg as well so both both sides are absolutely decked um, but surprisingly, like with jeans, potentially, if you kind of like sell them low enough, it, well, if you price them low enough, they may well sell anyway. Um, Levi 501 is probably one of the most popular of kind of brands, of style, sorry. But, right, then we got an oversized Nike sweater. So really big, this one. Kind of a Y2K vibes. Uh, so it's an extra large sure tags all all right yeah tags good very generic that's good no it's kind of a like, crop top that one there we got all right so we've got a jacket by hugo boss uh just on the first look of it yeah it's definitely got some marks over it but it does look if this comes up it'll be possibly the best one so far so it's a boss orange so a quick look at the tags Oh, yeah, tags all look good actually. Uh, so, size 42R. Yeah, potentially that, that's going to be good, but it has got some weird marks 
on the side. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully like that will all come out. If it does, that's definitely going to be the best one so far. And we are near the end as well, so. Right, another jacket. Right. This is North Face. It is a Summit series as well. Take the rubbish out of the pockets. Just a bit minging. But hey. Alright, so this one, so Summit series is one of the most heavily faked. So you need to be like super super careful on this one. Let me quickly show you. So it's small, it's not a big one, looks in great condition. That's Summit Series. Is the tag alright? Mm. Looks like the one of the yeah, one of the zips is broken. Let's check to make sure. Are the tags correct? Are there any tags? There are no tags either. Which kind of makes me feel this is not real. It's a shame. And good look. No. No tags whatsoever. Something like this is just not worth taking the risk on it. Yeah. That goes into the reject pile. Right, another hoodie. Uh, Adidas. All right, so the drawstring has actually come out of that one. So it does still have the drawstring, but this is looking very tired. Also, I'm like, not convinced it's real either. No, I'm going to reject that one as well. More joggers. And that's... First one with a hole, actually. Not a... Is it more than one hole? Looks like a couple of holes, actually. I'm definitely less inclined to actually like list things with holes unless it's kind of like jeans, but it's fairly minor. But is it worth zips working? Drawstrings all there. Big size, yeah. Get through the wash. All right. Last one, which is a Tommy Hill figure jumper, or a hoodie, sorry. Big stain just on the front. We got any tags. That does not look the greatest of uh, Tommy Hilfiger tag. Going to reject that as well. Right. That is done. Um, so overall, yeah, it's not great. It's um, kind of like certainly on um, George's last one, like he was picking up like some nice items um i think there was only really one item that i would class as being of any good um it's definitely like a lot of bread and butter you probably might make a little bit of money from it but um i don't think you're going to make very much at all um so that's that um i'm gonna like now run down to the um the unit and actually go and like pick and pack my orders so i'll take you along to do that and then we'll get those dropped off Right, I just wanted to quickly um, talk about kind of the bundle, the wholesale bundle that I picked up. Um, 
So like looking at the numbers, I paid 104 pounds and I think it worked out that there was 23 saleable items within that 20, um, uh, within that bundle. Um, so that kind of brings the cost of goods to about four pound 50, four pound 52, I think I worked it out. Um, in my personal opinion, I, I don't think that was like kind of like particularly great. Um, so paying four pound 50 uh, for some tracksuit bottoms is probably more than I would actually normally expect to pay. Um, but like, again, I do it every time. Um, I think it's a good idea to actually like pick it up. Um, now, there's a couple of items that probably will kind of like get me a reasonable return. Um, but on a whole, um, for me, like kind of like it was a bit of a struggle. Um, it's quite a lot of work to actually get all these cleaned. Um, I still think there's better options out there, but I um, thought I'd actually just like share that anyway. Right, I think I'm going to call that it for the day. Um, <clears throat> I've still got loads and loads to do, but um, I'm having like massive issues with the computer. So um, I actually run um, an iMac um, and I've actually got iMovie. So I'm trying to upload like, these videos. Um, and I'm just having like loads of dramas. Um, I'll quickly show you what's going on. So on iMovie, I'm just getting that. So like it's not even spinning. So the whole program's just not responding. Won't let me like upload, won't let me do anything. So I've kind of pretty much done everything that I can think of. So I've turned the computer on and off. I've um, uninstalled all the um, software. I've kind of reinstalled it. There's nothing like kind of too big. Like I think there's only one video in at the moment. Uh, but uh, yeah, if anyone has any suggestions, that would be absolutely amazing. So currently editing on my phone, which is definitely not ideal. So apologies um, if it doesn't come out like brilliant. Yesterday's was a bit of an issue as well. So, um, but uh, that's it. I'm still kind of like I'm going to overcome. Still going to get these videos out. Um, hope you all have an absolutely amazing day. Don't forget to like this video, hopefully, um, and um, I will catch you on the next one.